Um, I don't know. I'm gonna say Fozzie. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no, it's no. not. <laughs> this is gonna be super creepy. <laughs> Oh my god, that is creepy! Yeah. <laughs> the suspense. Yeah. I know. Let's see who it is. It's Kermit! Oh, it's Kermit! Oh, oh no. Is that his body? <laughs> yeah, that's his body. <laughs> what are the odds of getting Kermit? That's good. It's the Muppets, so it'll always be somebody you want. Turo, Turo, Muppets. His head. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so Read the signs of danger, I mean to say. To your right hand side, you'll see the jungle's most dangerous predators. The tall ones are fine, but the short ones will drain your bank account anywhere from 18 to 35 years. I guess on board. Stay down, please. Guys, he's coming back up. Guys, duck, 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 duck. Goose. This was where we set up camp, but um, looks like the monkeys are falling on the shots now. Don't you look at what they did to my teeth? They left the lights on. I will never get it to turn over. Looks like this pride of lions is watching over that sleeping zebra. Oh no. Um, kids, that's exactly how zebras like to sleep. You know, neck bent over, eyes wide open, mouth agape. He looks dead. Get tired and we're gonna let him rest in peace. Uh, looks like we've got Super Felix, who's lost the safari from earlier. Super Felix, but he's not a monkey, and even worse, come on, his mic's not even plugged in. No one's gonna laugh at him. And now, folks, the mummy you all have been waiting for, the amazing, stupendous, eighth wonder of the world, and the second best thing you'll see on this boat today. Here it is, the backside of water. Woo! That's my chemistry joke. I make it periodically. Something seems fishy, folks. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh no, we're surrounded by hungry piranhas. Not to worry, folks. I'll get us out of here. I don't know how they got all here from hungry, but that's that's impressive. We've got a boa sitting in a tree. H i s s i s s i p p i. Now, what does a jungle cruise about an expensive jungle souvenir? To cap off your experience here, folks, buy a hat. We here at the jungle cruise know all about cap sizes. Let's hear this sweet little Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Good morning. A lot of people think that's water dripping out of the nose, but um, it's not. <laughs>
all of your own. But first, you'll need to harness that power. And to do so, with this, the Kyber Crystal. And it's to find three to bring before you today. We'll start with blue, wielded by Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, his apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, and our Spark of Hope, Rey. Green, Qui-Gon Jinn, Master Yoda, Luke Skywalker, and Ahsoka Tano. Violet, both rare and beautiful, wielded only by Master Mace Windu. And red, the crystal of power, <laughs> Darth Vader, Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, and now, High, low, red. But those are stories of the past. Let's begin your journeys. Now, as my fellow gatherers come around, you know. clear your mind. Use the force. Trust your instincts. Listen for the crystal that is calling to you. Now, as you take in your crystal, place it on that green ditch directly in front of you, since it's not quite stable yet. The foundation of the lightsaber. The center of control, Anakin. Most importantly, it will protect your hand from that kind of crystal to save your in your fingers. Now don't be shocked. Look, I think it's like scrap that resembles the past. Or new materials we haven't seen before. The combination will be uniquely your own design. Resistance. So with that being said, builders, are we ready? Yes. yes. Excellent. Let's build. We'll start with the bottom left with your chassis. Go ahead and pick up your chassis and locate these clear oval vents. Flip your chassis so the clear oval vents are now facing down. Directly above your clear oval vents, there is a spring loaded plate. Press down on that plate. This is where your Kyber Crystal is going to go. Pick up your Kyber Crystal and apply pressure on that spring loaded plate with your crystal to lock your crystal into place. You will know your crystal is locked in correctly when it is standing straight up and down all on its own. It will begin to glow and sing to you. These only fit one way, so if your activation plates are not locking in quite right, double check that the red square is going directly over the red square, the blue rectangle directly over blue rectangle. Once you have your activation plates locked on, flip that activation switch. You should hear a misfire sound. I know it sounds a little scary, but trust me, that's a good sign. If you do not hear that sound, please let one of us know. Moving on, if everyone can find the hollow open end of your hilt. This is the top. This is where a blade will emit from. Pick an emitter from column number three. Let's go on the hollow open end of your hilt. Your emitter should thread in very easily. So if you feel any bit of resistance, loosen the emitter, recenter it, and try once again to secure it into place. Once your emitter is in place, flip your hilt over. Find the solid end. These are your power cells. Pick an end cap from column number four to protect your power cells. Your end cap should also thread in very easily. So if you feel any bit of resistance, loosen the end cap, recenter it, and try once again to secure it into place. Once you are satisfied with your build, place it on the hilt stand directly in front of you for inspection. In just a moment, when everyone is ready, we'll take a step forward, place our hand on our hilts, and activate together. Builders, are we ready? Yes. yes. Take that step forward. Place your hand on your hilts. Take a deep breath and activate. Yes. Raise yes. your lightsaber. Us build a lightsaber. Like the Jedi and the Sith that's brought before you. And like that, you too can change the galaxy. Remember, it only takes a spark. So raise them high, raise them proud. Please lower and deactivate your lightsabers. The barn is now complete. Choose your path. Only you can. May the force be with you. 
thank you, Master Yoda. And thank you, Yodas. You are as unique and extraordinary as the lightsabers you hold in your hands. But your journeys are just beginning. It's time for you to go out there and make your mark on the galaxy. And who knows, maybe one day, we'll be here telling all of your stories. But until then, I just take you out the outpost. Till the fire! Till the fire!